Hey, hi friends, welcome to another session on Gems of Geometry. And as discussed in the previous session, in this session, we are going to deal with few more properties of the pedal triangle. And uh, we'll start with this theorem, which says that if x, y, and z are the distances of a pedal point P from the three vertices A, B, and C of a triangle ABC, then the pedal triangle has sides ax upon 2r, by upon 2r, and cz upon 2r. Okay, so in the last class we studied what is a pedal triangle. So you take any point P like this here. So if you take point P like that, and then you drop perpendiculars on all the three sides. So you can see PB, P, uh, sorry, PD, PE, and PF are the perpendiculars drawn from p on the three sides okay a p is given to be equal to x you can see this is x here a p is x b p is y so this is y and c p is z okay so this is what is given now we have to prove that we have to prove that the three sides of the tri pedal triangle what is a pedal triangle if you join the foot of the perpendicular drawn from p you will get a pedal triangle in this case we have a pedal triangle def right now you have to find the lengths of the sides de ef and fd so let's see how do we find it now if you see triangle or i'm saying angle a f p is equal to angle a e p both are 90 degrees right so we can say very clearly that ap is the dia is the diameter diameter of a circle of a circle um on which on which f and e lie correct why? Because we know that if there is a circle and there is a diameter, so the diameter subtends 90 degrees on the circumference, isn't it? So this is what we have known. Okay, now what? So if that is the case, that means A F E. So the circle, so A P is the dia of the circum circle of triangle AFE. So we can conclude that AP is the diameter. AP is the diameter and what is the circle which is you know circumcircle of diameter of the circum circle circumcircle of triangle triangle A E F isn't it circum circle of triangle aef this is what we conclude so ap is the diameter of the circum circle of aef now if you remember sine rule which which we discussed in the very first session which says that sine a by or rather the other way around let me write in the reciprocal format so we say that fe in triangle aef fe by sine of a will be equal to 2 times the radius of the circumcenter right so 2 times the radius of the circumcenter in this case let's say uh, r i am writing and in the subscript i am writing afe just to indicate that r afe is the circum radius of triangle afe which is nothing but ap because this is the diameter of that same is of that circle so hence we can say fe by sin a is ap so hence we can conclude that sin a is equal to fe by ap and ap is nothing but x okay similarly i can say in triangle abc what can I say in triangle ABC? BC upon BC upon sine A is equal to 
to R, where R is the circumradius of triangle ABC. R is the circum radius, circum radius of triangle ABC. Right, guys. So if you see uh, the nomenclature here, would be this is side A, this is side B, and this is side C. Right. So hence, I can now replace BC by simply A. So A upon sine A is equal to to R. Right. So hence, from here I can conclude this implies sine A is equal to A upon two R. Now let this be equation number one and this be equation number two. So if we can, if you just you know unite both of them, you'll see f e by x, f e by x is equal to a upon two r. So this implies f e is equal to a x upon two r. So we got the first side of the pedal triangle D E F, and which is nothing but f e. Right, F E is equal to A X by two R. Similarly, it will not take much of. Similarly, you can always prove that F D, the other side, will be B Y by two R. And E D will be. C Z by two R by the same logic, right? So if you understood this particular logic, it will not be difficult for you to come up with this conclusion, right? So we just proved that if x y z are the distances of a pedal point P from the three vertices A B and C of triangle A B C, then the pedal triangle has these three sides, okay? And you can check one special case would be when. So let me just write it here. So special case. One special case would be when x is equal to r. That means the point P itself is the circumcenter. P is the circumcenter. Then x equals to r, and then what will happen? You know all. You know very clearly. So the sides of the uh, the three uh, the three sides of the pedal triangle in this case will be simply a by two, b by two, and c by two. Half of the sides. Right, we know that uh, the you know if you join the midpoints of the sides of the triangle, the you know the triangle so formed will have these three sides ends. Right, so that's a special case of this particular theorem. Okay, I hope you understand this theorem.